Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching One Piece episode 67. So we're just doing the single episode today, but it's an extra upload for you guys. We kind of did the same thing for the end of Arlong Park. So this is just wrapping up the Whiskey Peak arc or saga. I think it's an arc, right? We'd rather divide it up nicely. And, and we don't usually like to sit down for like three episodes. We will do it on occasion if you guys really suggest it for certain stretches of episodes. But yeah, we thought we'd just wrap up the arc today with one episode. We'll talk about it, talk about the Whiskey Peak arc, and then move on to the next arc, which I believe is the Alabasta Kingdom or something like that that, yeah. that they've been talking about. Uh, Luffy and Zoro are fighting. Unbelievable scenes. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. I don't know how that's going to wrap up. I'm kind of hoping Zoro wins because Luffy's been, he's been yeah, unreasonable. I'm going for Zoro. Yeah, he's been unreasonable, Luffy. He really is. <laughs> but anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Luffy's gone mental, Carly. He looks crazy. Yeah. Over the meal. It's like an animal. No, there's no way. This is They're real. Both like animals. This is fan service. That's what it is. <laughs> what? Oh, Nami. thank you, MVP. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, they both needed that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Zoro got in that cheap shot. Oh no, don't sign anything Nami hands to you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's been trying to tell you. Oh dear. <laughs> You're a princess. We know you got the coin. Gone broke. Oh dear. Okay. Yep. Are you laughing? <laughs> Just the way she said it. Oh. I haven't seen. Was it Mr. Zero? Mm. I mean, Nami kind of did the same thing, right? With Arlong and all of that. <laughs> In a way. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? She does. Oh. Oh, one of the seven oh, warlords? Crocodile. Wow. Yep, and just got <laughs> them all in trouble, damn it. Oh, no! Oh, crap. Ah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, she's dead. She's Nami, dead. Nami kills me, man. <laughs> Yeah, that no, 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 looks so good. <laughs> She's such a good voice actress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. His no hair looks snatched. Is he trying to... Be the princess. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's what I said. You know. Don't... 
Is this funnier than Chew? I'm not sure, Carly. I, don't, I actually don't know. I think it might be. Oh, no, I don't know. I can't say. Eternal pose. Mm, okay. Oh. So they can always return. Igarem is actually a legend. Yeah. Come a long way. He's dead for sure. Oh my gosh, I'm actually sad for her now. He looks like a goose. He's not Red lip slaps. He's not making it. Far. I hate to say it. Come on. Maybe I should have more faith in him. Just, I'm not on board with the plan. No? No. Why not? Oh, hey. How the bloody hell did you know? <laughs> I did call it! Gonna put that energy to good use now. Oh, oh no. Dude. She's fuming for sure. Be devastated. Yep. Oh, that's nice, Aww. Nami. That is really nice. Oh, oh yes, nice. Nami. Aww. Picking up the that's boys. So nice. Yeah. He goes from like, give me all your money to, don't worry, I'll die with you if I need to. Yeah, no, Nami's nice when it comes down to it. Oh, she knows what it's like to lose someone you love right in front of your eyes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there were similarities with Arlong. Oh, 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 shit. Just like that. By that's the not nose? how you wake someone up. It's wrong. Shit. Oh, dear. Waifu alert, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no husbandos for me though, don't worry. I like them mean. <laughs> Can't live without the dark. Oh, great. <laughs> He's safe next to Zoro. <laughs> Is this him? Like there's just multiple ducks walking around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't done yet. They haven't been filled in. <laughs> Fun's over, boys. <laughs> Nami's the queen. She is the captain. <laughs> Left out to complicated parts. <laughs> she barely knew what was going on. Well, yeah. she did at the end. Yeah, who's talking? I was gonna say that's the girl with the hat. <laughs> oh, I was like, I don't recognize that voice actor. My actress. gosh. Is that Croco? Sanji, go back to sleep. Miss All Sunday. Ooh. Oh shit. That's Crocodile's missus? Wow. <laughs> He's getting mad. Yeah. I'm gonna do shit. Even He's Sanji? Gonna... Yeah, I guess so. You have to give him more credit than that. Oh shit. Oh, oh dear. Oh wow. An invisible fruit. Actually, like a lot of fruits. What the heck? Take it back. That was right, man. Wrong. <laughs> that was very wrong. Oh. That sounds scary. 
what's kind of wholesome. <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. That's pretty good. She's deceiving everyone. Yeah. She's leading him into a trap. Yeah. Uh, so. I don't trust her. Hey. Oh. Nami. <laughs> yep. That's probably for the best. Think about this, Nami. Nami is skyrocketing up up my character list now. Oh! Mm. It's not up to Nami herself. Mm. See, that's a green flag. I agree. I'm confused. That's a green flag. Oh, that's the coolest turtle I've ever seen. He even said it in the voice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he almost lost all hope he had with her if he killed the oh, duck. Yeah. Oh. Um. That's okay. a big footprint. No, that's a, that's footprint, a yeah. damn cliffhanger. There's a bit that was set up in that episode. Yes. It probably works out okay that we only watched one in today's video because there's a little bit to talk about. So one of the seven warlords, Crocodile, also known as Mr. Zero, we're going to meet soon. Yeah. He's a pretty bad dude. He's a bad dude, yes. Yeah. We met Miss All Sunday, his counterpart. Yeah. Miss All Sunday, not Miss Part Sunday or Half the Sunday. Whole the Sunday. whole thing. It's the whole Sunday. Yeah. I like her. Yeah? Why? She doesn't replace Alveda just yet. Okay, I thought she was like... It's on the cards, but no. The I obvious choice. No, Alveda's still there. That fight between Luffy and Zoro was... Um, it was inspiring. It was inspiring. <laughs> yep. I loved all the, the tropes there, the lightning and all of that. Yeah. The power up. I'm just realizing how integral Nami is to this crew. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually... I don't know how long this is going to last, but she's third now in terms of my straw hats. We'll get to that a bit later. But... We learned about a couple more of the, the different poses, the eternal pose. That's right. We're going to Little Garden as we well. We've been going to nowhere at all or whatever it was called. Not much going on or <laughs> there's not a lot here to see. No. Something like that. <laughs> I don't think it was any of them, but yeah. Something along those lines, but yep. no, Luffy didn't want to. So I guess we're going to All Garden now. Do you trust Little Garden. Miss All Sunday? Oh, it's weird with her. She had to have been the person to blow that up. Who else blew it up? Igarim was a real one in the end. Yeah. It really was. It was really sad. A little part of me maybe thinks he quickly jumped. We didn't see him. We saw the two weird things he was carrying. Mm, he might be okay. Maybe. There could These be a... scrolls are going to be all... Um, mm, he might be bald, yeah. They're going to be all, like, curled out. Like, you know, they're going to be straight. He'd be singing ma, ma, ma all the way to the next, like, island or rock. I don't know if he's yeah. alright. We'll have to wait and see, but she's an interesting character, Miss All Sunday. We'll have to wait and see where her true allegiances lie, but I'd mm. imagine... I think it's with Mr. Zero, or Crocodile, however you want to call him. Yeah, but then you see the turtle. Look, there are some green flags, but too many red flags. Yeah. I'd say there's like a couple of green flags and like maybe... The simp in me is saying trust her. Yeah, I guess my brain is telling me not to. Okay, we'll see where that... But that leads us both, but I thought Nami was bloody hilarious in the episode. <laughs> I like it how Luffy and Zoro are presented as these very, very formidable characters, but then Nami can just rock up and punch him. Oh, yeah. It's got to be a little bit of a joke, but still, it's it's showing the authority that she actually has. Yes. And you're right. She seems like the true captain of the crew. She does, yes. But I know she would never try and steal that title like Usopp. <laughs> That's right. She's like, I'm just here for the ride, but everyone needs to keep in line. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of Nami, she moves above Luffy into third place for the Straw Hats. Luffy's still there. I was more aligned with Luffy this episode than Nami. Luffy's hilarious, but there's just something about Nami that it could be the simp in me as well. But I did just, love her this episode. Yeah, I've been really... She's been making me laugh a lot, even more than Luffy a little bit. Fair enough. Um, 
I don't know, her angry face is, like, hilarious. It's a really goofy drawing. You notice that? Yeah, yeah. But, I don't know, it just makes her hilarious. And it does. I think she, she puts on a front a lot of the time. So I mentioned it a little bit in this episode, but I think when Vivi said that whole spiel about what was going on, Nami definitely took something from it because of what she had to go through at Arlong Park, mm. you know? Yeah. She had to be very discreet about what she was doing, and she was pretty much alone in doing it the whole time. And, yeah, I don't know. I, I think she was moved by that a little bit. She can be cold at times, you know? Sometimes she just wants the money. But then, you know, when it comes down to it, Nami's quite nurturing. Yeah. She's really like Bellamy. Mm. Quite similar, right? Yeah. And even though we didn't see her comforting Kaya back in, like, that arc, mm. in the live action we did, I think they did a good job of that, showing her, like, soft side. I do like what they added to Nami's character in that arc. Mm. Yeah, now looking back on it, I think the live action, if it covers any of this that we've just seen, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be yeah. pretty funny, right? They'll definitely have to cover the Luffy versus Zoro moment. They have to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like in the live action, they took a lot of the humor out of it, though, so it's not going to be as funny, no way, but yeah. Yeah, we'll see. In terms of the crew segment, we're not going to include yours because it's still a shambles. What? It's a joke. You cancelled my crew? I feel like it. But Rude. yeah, I'm very much hoping for a husbando to show up. I was the same as you in that moment when I was realising that, oh shit, you know, I'm getting a couple of waifus here. You're still not getting too many husbandos. I mean, there was Captain Smoker and you were yeah. coming around to him, but not enough. Yeah, I'm sort of coming a bit more around to him because some of the Patreon members were pointing out, you know, like there was a bit of chemistry there between me and Captain Smokey. But not enough. Like Shanks, like I said, Carly, it's all about truth. It's not about just trying to chuck someone in there. It's about truth. All right, well, then we leave it. Yeah. We leave the lie on screen for everyone to see. It's but not a lie. You know what? Mihawk is just filling in. I'm entrusting my crew to him for the meantime. Okay, I feel like he will defend my crew. He'll protect them I feel like, against any harm that could come. I feel like it would be them. more accurate for your crew right now if you want to keep a temporary crew to honestly put... Well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put Shanks in Captain and Smoker in Husbando. Would that be more accurate though? Because Shanks is really your Husbando. But there's something wrong about seeing Mihawk as Captain. Not to say Mihawk's a bad character. Mihawk's quite epic, but it's just you haven't really spoken about him. That's all. You do whatever you please. Uh, is anything changed to your crew, like your actual crew there and your straw hats? In terms of my crew, mm. I'm growing a lot of affection for Luffy. He's second at the moment. Mm -hmm. And Sanji has sort of been like on the sidelines. He's been simping and not doing a lot else. Here's the juice. This is the juice I've been after. Cause I do love Sanji. I think he's a sweetie pie. But I'm just, I'm really, really enjoying Luffy. He just makes me laugh, like, all the time. So Luffy is your favourite. He's like this idiot, but... Here we go. Here's some juice after you've just let everyone down for the last three weeks. There we go, Carly. Some entertainment. What do you mean? You're it's with... only been, like, a couple of videos. You're with your fake, with your fake crew. But Stop with the fake crew. Now with the straw hats. That's interesting. So you're going to change your... I, I do want to be true to the crew. I okay. think I will change Luffy as my number one right now. Wow. See... I wish I had a, a character that was closer to Zoro. Yeah, that's okay. It's just not. You make a good point about Sanji being slightly irrelevant, but he's still my second favorite. I do love him a lot. Like just irrelevant for the. You're right. The last couple of like. Yeah, he's videos. felt irrelevant like lately. That's the beauty of it. You can. Yeah, with I'm, the not straw gonna, hats I'm not going to be attached. really loyal to the Straw Hat order. Yeah, I'm not loyal to Kobe or Zoro at all. Wow. I am, then but... change Kobe. No, 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 go on. Let's finish with yours and I'll talk through mine. Okay, so for now I will do Luffy, mm. Sanji, Zoro, Nami, and Usopp. Wow, okay. With Luffy as my number one. My guy. For me, I know it might look like I'm just kind of being stubborn with Zoro, but he, he in my opinion, nah, has just... Like, he's featured a lot. I see that for you. Yeah. yeah, and he has been a bit more relevant than Sanji lately. Yeah, no, Zoro's my clear number one for now. Number two, like, I'm enjoying Nami a lot recently. For Sanji, I just, I remember fondly the whole Baratie arc. But you can and, let go of what you remember. No. If you want, just make it more of a, a current thing. No. How you're feeling right now. I don't want it to be a recency bias crew. Okay, so you, you value loyalty. Not loyalty necessarily. I I value memories. I value memories. And I just felt like um, Sanji was magnificent in that arc. But then again, really was. Nami was magnificent in Arlong Park. She had a lot of layers there, but... The Sanji stuff spoke to me a little bit more, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Zoro, Sanji, very closely followed by Nami and Luffy. 
Wait, Nami first? Nami's third, Luffy's fourth. Betrayed my guy just then. Betrayed my guy right there. Wow. And um, Usopp's not too far behind in fifth. Our crews are very different. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Now, in terms of my side crew, with Kobe being there, some people are going to be like, why is Kobe there? (laughs) I need a character to give me a really good first impression, and I need to be able to remember that character. That's why Kobe is there. He made me piss myself. And you've got to remember as well, Kobe was in the opening episodes. That's the first taste of One Piece I got. And I was hooked in partly because I thought Kobe was hilarious. I loved his back and forth with, with Luffy. Kobe's there. He's my guy still, okay? okay? People might call that loyalty. But I'm saying if a really good character, side character, non-straw hat comes along, I will replace Kobe. Really? I'm just saying I will. People I might can't think, wait for that day. Carly, to come. don't be doing no, Kobe I'm, I'm like that, excited. though. I'm I don't have anything against Kobe, but like, yeah, yeah. Shanks, Paddy, Balamere, and Zeph, still comfortable with that. I thought they were the best written I feel characters. Like it would be a fun time on that crew. Yeah, and then Alveda. Look, Miss All Sundays creeping up on her, but Alveda was great. I can see that there's potential there. Yeah, for Miss All Sunday. And I still haven't hated a character more than Kuro yet, so he's still on there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm changing my crew. The crew's changing up right now. Oh, you found Clarity. Yeah. Carly's found Clarity finally, and um, she's going to change up her crew. It's just what I said before. Shanks is going. <laughs> Shanks is going in the captain slot. See you later, Mayhawk. Thank you for filling in. Thank you for looking after my. And crew. Shanks is also going to remain in the husbando slot. Carly, you've placed everyone right now, haven't you? You've placed no. everyone. Carly, give me a high five. Get away! You give have a placed high five. everyone. We have Gen. Patty, Zeph, and Bellamere. Love that. And... Carly! <laughs> you have to let me do what I want to do with my crew. Like, come on. You have Kobe as the captain. Why is it so bad if it's just temporary? Yeah. You know that... Smoker is my temporary husband. Uh, that's fake. <laughs> no, it's... it's not. Let's just say, okay, your crew is in no current threat right now of being, I don't know, being in a battle with another crew. That's Sh- false information. Carly, this just, is one piece. Anything can happen at any time. Just rename your crew then. What? Go, I just did. go captain, crew, second husbando, and most wanted. If you rename it, then everyone will be okay with it. Sure. Okay. Second husbando is Captain Smoker. Which is interesting because that makes you didn't me sound bad. Yeah, because you didn't even speak about him when we argued. What? For like. Yeah, but like. See, you see, know when you leave it for nonsense. a little bit and you can see, nah, like, it's all nonsense. you can see clearly now that the rain is gone. You just do what you please, Carly. Yeah, that's that's what I do. If that's I haven't convinced done. you yet, and everyone else hasn't anyway, convinced you yet, then no the one ever will. The rat is still who I hate the most, so he can stay. Okay. I feel good about that. I feel like fresh, you know. It's like spring cleaning. Like, yeah, we've changed something. You up. didn't change shit. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so we have the SBS segment. This question is, Mr. Fives knows fancy cannon is basically boogers, right? And Oda says, that's right. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Again, with the evil laugh. Sounds like a Pokemon. When I came up with the idea, I burst out laughing. Why would he admit that? I don't know. Good. So it's just boogers? Boogers, yeah, boogers. Explosive. Straight up boogers. Explosive boogers. Yep. These mangakas, they love the snot trope. They do, actually. I'm just thinking now back to, like, Demon Slayer and Didn't even everything. Hana Hana. Those are the two that come to mind. Yeah, but I'm sure it's been in a lot more. Probably Dragon Ball. Yeah, from time to time, yeah. Mm. More like nosebleeds in Dragon Ball, mm. but yeah. We won't go into that, that's fine. So yeah, I, I'm excited for the Alabaster Kingdom. That starts next episode, I believe. Yeah. Well, we're going to go to the little garden first with the massive, ass, giant thing that's there. Yeah, I think the Ark itself is called the Alabaster Kingdom or something like that. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. I have to talk with the mods again. But Whiskey Peak was, was a bit of fun. It was a bit of fun. It was very wild. It was a bit of fun, a bit of chaos. What we love to see. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.